Hello there everyone, my name is Ayumu Kagami and this is my first look at Starbound. Now this is one of those survival uh, survival sandbox games. Um, you know, the horror relies in you know, your own imagination type stuff. So it's a lot of fun. Um, it's very much like Terraria. I'm not going to say too much more except for I, I don't know how to delete a character. I just wanted to start it so I could test it. And I don't know how to delete a character. Um, there's a whole bunch of different character slots. Um, now I have been playing this for a little while. I didn't want to have completely fresh. Uh, I probably played it for, I don't know, two hours? Um, so I'll try and explain a lot of the early things um, in the game, which I think are pretty awesome. Uh, now the game starts out and you're right here, I believe. You can choose between different classes. There's six available right now, and I think a seventh is going to be implemented right now, soon? or either in the future, I'm honestly not sure. Um, but as of right now, there are six classes. I chose the human, there's a robot, there's an avian, you know, like bird person, there's a plant person, there's a, I don't know what the other ones are. But I do know that this is uh, your starting character. And what you do to start the game off, you just hit this button right here, and you open this up, and it gives you quests. Which, uh, right here, are your completed quests. So it starts with forging, nope, it starts with There's No Place Like Home, where you get the Matter Converter, which is basically your do-all tool, jack-of-all-trades, but not a master of any trades. So you just get all your starting materials from right here, drag them into your inventory. And one of the things, just wanted to make a note of this right now about your inventory, is that, like, it's like you have two backpacks. Because this one, like, holds... Just materials which are just used, but you never really want too many of them in your inventory. But you have to have them because you need torches. That's not it. Um, <laughs> as I mash buttons. Um, so you start out on a planet. It's randomized, I think. Uh, because watching Northern Lion's video, he's not on this planet. My planet's filled with flowers. It's beautiful. So many flowers. Um, also, the enemies in this game are... Uh, a lot more difficult than it seems like in Terraria and you can basically just start off fighting um, as you can see this is my settlement uh, and you can click this button right here which teleports you right back to your ship and so long as you're like above sea level like watch this symbol right here and I go down it's no longer available um, so so long as you're basically above ground um, you can be teleported back uh, so you do start the game you have some quests it's basically pretty simple stuff um, in this game, for food, you have to use a bow for hunting to do anything with it. Um, and then there are definitely other weapons. So you, there are flying enemies. Let me just murder that in one hit. I didn't think I'd actually murder it in one hit. Uh, and you start out with a different blade. I got this from killing a bandit. I think it was a bandit. Uh, so, a, lo a lot like Terraria, you want to use the workbench. Um, one thing, don't mistake, just hit E to open up this. You actually have to hover your mouse over. I make that mistake far too often. There's a bunch of different things you can make. Obviously with the... Uh, what's that? That's an anvil. With the anvil, you can do anvil stuff. You can do cloth stuff with the spinning wheel. Chests are chests. And then this is my bed. Um, it's just a bamboo like prison mat. So you can sleep in it, and that's how you recover your health. Um, and there are also bandages. Also, I, I hit escape to get out of everything, even though you don't have to. You just walk out of it. Um, so you just explore the world a little bit, and it's very nice. Uh, unfortunately, uh, my world is very hilly, which I don't really like. And with these, these are not vicious mobs, even though they have bloody axe tails. But when you get close to... Oh, I hit him. Um, when you get close to an enemy, it uh, the music changes. Uh, one of the things I think is amazing is uh, you listen to the music right now. It's very nice and pretty. And then the music is like dull down because you're underwater, so you'd have more trouble hearing. Um, but if I go right here, it should change the music because this is a um, hostile target. I have a very good weapon right now, um, so it looks like I'm killing things easily. I am going to switch out to the uh, other weapon I had just because... I want you to see that the combat isn't just super easy, like, go right here. And it's not doing uh, so much damage. Also, range. You click and hold the bow um, to get more out of it. And then you get raw meat, which you go cook. I've cooked up some raw alien meat. Um, but it's, it's definitely... Uh, if you enjoyed Terraria, I absolutely highly recommend this game. And also, like I said, the matter converter is a jack-of-all-trades, so you just use this. 
you can get stuff. I just got flower petals. Um, personally, I got a little burned out on Terraria. I only I didn't put too too much time in on it, um, but I personally just got burned out on it. Um, this game, it kind of refueled my uh, my interest in the series of survival-y sandbox games. Um, I like the fact that the combat's you know it, it's not the entire center of attention. Um, you can build armor and everything. I'm just lazy and I haven't built armor. Um, but I'll use bandages for the first time. So, do they heal over time? They heal over time, um, which is pretty cool. This is actually the first time I ever used bandages. Like I said, I only put about two hours into the game. Um, but also, I like the fact that you can just, you're down at the bottom, you just swim upwards. Just click and hold space. So, it controls pretty much exactly like Terraria. You can customize your character. I wanted to make my character look like this because it's kind of how I look. Except it's not really. Um, enemies do spawn back at alarming regularity sometimes um but that's okay it def it also whoop i killed the wrong thing um what i'm going to show you right here is this right here um this is your pixels uh and those are how do i get back up here okay i'm not sure how to get back up here so what i'm going to do is just teleport to my ship to get back to my starting area that way i can explain it better that way um also you will always um, not go to your bed, necessarily. This is just where I spawned in on the map, so I'm making my camp right here. Um, so I'm also going to do some underground stuff. So the materials, um, iron, I think they have durability. I'm pretty sure what that is, is durability. But I, you know, don't 100% quote me on it. Um, I haven't seen anything break, and I don't know if durability just fixes itself over time. Or if it just, you know, will stay broken forever. Um, so those are the things that I haven't quite figured out yet, because I just haven't played the game long enough. Um, so I was... Ooh, I don't want to murder you just yet. Even though you have a bloody axe tail! Um, but yeah, so I haven't actually broken a weapon. Um, and I'm up to copper. I started out with cobblestone, or stone, whichever you prefer to call it. And you just go down. This is copper, as you probably suspected. Okay. Uh, and they do have a nice area of effect. Um, your matter converter has a four, as you can see right here the four area effect um, your axe has a limited range I think it's only a one but you can use it just to chop down you know obviously it's an axe just chop down trees and stuff and go back to my pickaxe pickaxe as you can see here actually has a not a uh, nine radius which is a three by three which is definitely nice uh, it gets a lot more I won't be able to get this um, gets a lot more radius out uh, so you don't have to mine brick by brick, which was something that I thought was a little too tedious in Terraria. Um, but then again, whenever I see something, I have to mine it. Oh, I didn't actually break this fully. Also, when you start breaking something, like right here, it slowly fades back to not being broken. Um, so if you do move your mouse over a little bit, um, that doesn't instantly stop it, which is something I definitely like. Uh, also, when you die, you lose some pixels. Um, building some items will either give you pixels... Actually, I think just building regular crafting gives you pixels. Um, I think mining occasionally gives you pixels. It doesn't seem to be giving me pixels right now. Um, maybe I mined into a pixel spot. It was never much for pixels, but the pixels are like... I'm going to say they're like your currency. Um, don't 100% quote me on that. I have seen that for my... What was it I made? I think it was a copper... I think for my pickaxe, it needed me to have uh, so many pixels. Like, I think 100. Or maybe I was looking at armor, and that's what needed 100 pixels. Uh, and then the breastplate needed 250. Um, so you do need to get pixels. Which is something I think is really nice. Because it adds a money element into crafting as well. But not done in a... Unfair, poor, whatever you'd like to call it. You also walk slower when your bow is drawn. Uh, that's why I was walking slower right there. Uh, also, if you are interested in, like, uh, let's say, right here, you only want one block cut. You just hit shift, and you can break this single block. Which is nice. I don't think it actually goes faster. I think it still takes the same amount of time. And I know I'm throwing a lot of just the basics at you. 
Um, it's not supposed to be just like a tutorial episode. But I, I, you know, this is just nice things to know, in my opinion, just right off the bat. Uh, if you played one of these games, it is, it is still one of these games. One of the nice things is that the enemies, they have attack names. Like, you just use Body Slam. So, it, you know, because I, I'm a huge Pokemon fan, I like the fact that it had, like, that Pokemon element that it's using a specific attack. And it had to announce it to me. Um, now, I don't know if it's possible to break something with, you know, arrows. Because I did see that there was a damage mark in it. So maybe it is possible to damage it with arrows or guns. I was told there were guns much later in the game, which I think is awesome. Oh, okay, this, this target is just not vicious until I attack it. So I'm the bad person who attacked it. There are also these little vile things right here. Let me just break... Okay, let me... So sand does what sand does. Um, and it gets everywhere. But uh, this vial right here... Okay, I broke it without actually meaning to. Um, but that little vial right there is uh, a pixel cache. I believe that only gave me two pixels, which isn't, you know, fantastic, but at the same time. We're early game, it's not... Oh, I don't know what that pink thing is. But he scares me. Um, also, the weapon I have is slow. And you can also... What I really like about this... That was nothing at all. Uh, I'm going to go back to the surface. And then keep explaining. And maybe finish up this episode. After I just show some of the crafting. Uh, just... Because it's you know, all your basic stuff. Um, there are multiple planets you can go to. And I will finish up by going to the ship. Because there is another planet I can go to. Uh, but it has a higher risk level. So I'm not sure if there are just limited planets. Um, this has multiplayer. I haven't uh, done anything with multiplayer. Just wanted to play by myself on stream a little bit. Um, with, you know, everyone on stream helping me out. out obviously. Uh, but, if, I mean, if you played one of these games before, they're pretty easy to pick up. Um, just murder everything. That may not actually always be the best tactic. Uh, but it definitely adds something extra to, like, the fighting aspect. One of the things I didn't really like about Terraria was the only thing you ever got from fighting was gold. Or, well, I mean, not necessarily gold, just money. I mean, sometimes you got drops. Um, but not always. And it just it didn't make fighting as entertaining for me. Uh, but this one, it seems like it feels like range... Mel uh, ranged fighting is going to be more important, um, which is something I really enjoy. Uh, so I came up to the surface to show you something that I, I didn't know. Oh, also, I'll show you sleeping for a second as it heals me. I think I already showed that. Um, but, and see, like, I, yeah, I did. Like I said, I hit escape. Um, there's a day-night cycle. I think there's also down here, there's like a freezing meter. I don't know what this green meter is. Um, yes, I know exactly what I was supposed to show you. I'm sorry about being a little scatterbait. There's a lot I want to talk about, and I don't want to take too, too much time. So let's take this right here, and then my other weapon right here. And you can look at the stats. So it has armor, penetration, swing speed, and damage per swing, which is something I definitely like. Also, it's turning nighttime. Um, and then you go right over here, and this one it has more armor penetration, so it's actually doing more damage, but it's slower and does less damage per swing. So it's all those things to figure out or to look into, um, and this is just you. Start, I started out with some banana seeds and I think wheat seeds, uh, which is interesting. I just got flower petals, and I also came across some of these house and I, I took their doors. Um, now I don't know exactly how you build walls, um, so if anybody knows, post in the comments or drop by my stream, twitch.tv slash uh, and let me know how you uh, how you do that. I don't really know. Um, what I'm supposed to do to build walls. I don't know if I'm just supposed to like build like wood up and then that's a wall or where did my oh I put that in my inventory okay uh, these guys are terrible uh, and I'm going to show you like how challenging the night can be please don't hit me please don't hit me ow so, okay, this is what happens to die. See, I'm at 418 pixels up there. I die, and it's pretty cool. You get reconstructed, uh, you know, like got bones, muscles, and I'm naked. But I have underwear on, so this is YouTube friendly. 
Uh, so this is pretty much all you can do. Uh, I will take a quick look at the other planet and get scared. Um, so you just like click right here. You, yeah, you need fuel to start the game off. Um, so let's just go to this planet. It may be because I don't have enough um, resources that I can't go to that planet. But that's how you'd look at other planets because there is that other planet. Um, yeah, I don't have any. What, what is used as fuel? I don't know. Um, but you just need to fuel, fuel it up. And like I said, uh, the pixel thing. Like I probably lost 160 pixels or something. So probably like a third of my Mac or a third of my pixels um, is lost when I died. Um, I died a lot in the beginning, and I don't know if there's a way you can actually stash... No, you can't stash pixels. Um, so, this game's in beta right now, as you saw on the front screen. There's a lot left of this game, um, and I will... As I'm doing my wrap-up talk, I'll show... I'll just have recipes on the screen. Um, but there is a lot to this game. Also, there's a search bar right here, so you just want to click search. Bam, you're done. I love that. Um, but so there is a lot to this game. There's a lot of things that you can do. And there's... It's definitely something I'm interested in. Definitely playing some more of. I'm going to continue playing it because... Also, here's how you use pixels. So I could have made a spear. Um, but not yet. So it's it's definitely a game I'm interested in playing more of. It just... It looks like my type of game. Uh, even though I haven't been playing them very often. I've definitely enjoyed my time with this and I'm probably going to just continue playing more on stream. Uh, if you guys are interested, I can make a YouTube series out of this. Um, and I'd be more than happy to do that. Uh, it's definitely something I'm interested in. Also, I think it's interesting that uh, it kind of levels up. You need iron and your copper equipment previously. So that's something I'm definitely interested in. I'm actually going to just make all my copper. I can't make all my copper equipment. Three and one or three. Um, also, I don't honestly. I think this is heat. This is. I don't know. Um, but I am going to make both of these. Can I? I can. Um, so you just hit craft. Some of them, I think when you craft it, it gives you experience, um, which is nice. Which one did I craft? I'm sorry. <laughs> a little, uh, little scatterbrained. Um, and then they also have like Terraria, they have the visual effect. Um, what does this look like? Yeah, I'd rather just have this. I don't know how sweatpants give me strength. Okay, well, apparently sweatpants give you strength. Because the game's awesome like that. Um, but, so this is, uh, Starbound. It's absolutely a good experience. I love, <clears throat> I love what I have played. Having a lot of fun with it. Oh, I don't want. I kind of don't want the goggles on though. They look stupid. Okay, they look kind of awesome. Except for the fact my hair is red. They look awesome. Um, but yeah, so absolutely, you can just type things in. Look at the recipes. They have all these like shortcuts right down here. Um, that's one thing I kind of didn't like about Terraria was that I didn't have all my recipes. I could ask for them. But this thing just gives them all to you. So that's something I definitely like. I highly recommend this game. Okay, terribly sorry about that really bad cut. Um, I accidentally moved my mouse up and hit the X button, and I stopped my recording. Um, I play it in windowed mode. You can play it in full screen however you want. Uh, let's just look at the options as I finish talking. Um, but yeah, so I was uh, I'm definitely impressed with this game. I do highly recommend it. It's a great game. If you like Terraria, if you like Minecraft, you'll probably like this game as well. Um, I'm going to put a link to the... Um, website you can get it on. It's it's right on Steam as well. Um, there's more updates coming up. Uh, this thing hit like a million dollars or something. I might I may be totally off basis on that, um, but it's in beta right now, as you can see right here. Beta, blah blah stuff about beta. Um, but yeah, so I mean it's it's subject to change. It's probably only going to change for the better. Um, I heard there may be pets coming in because if you look at the character stat screen, there's like a pet option or a pet slot. So more to come of the game. It's definitely looking good. I highly recommend it, um, and I advise you all give it a look out. It's it's super cheap at 15 bucks. Um, graphics I think look not, uh, better than Terraria, uh, but. You know, and it's it's ten bucks cheaper than Minecraft is approximately. So I highly do recommend this game. Um, it gets my rating of a 
I don't have a rating system, but then at then. So uh, definitely give this a look yourself, and I will see you all later. If you are interested in catching more of my content, you can always follow me on Twitter, um, Facebook. Um, then I do stream a lot of games. I stream every day. Uh, it's twitch.tv slash Ayumu Kagami. You can always go do that. Um, if you did like this video, share it around so more people know about Starbound. And thank you all for dropping by. Definitely appreciate it. If you did enjoy, hit that like button. Definitely helps me out. And subscribe if you want to see more of my first looks or other content like that. But I've dragged on too long in this just screen, but the music's beautiful. Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you all on the next video of whatever I make. Bye-bye.